Uh, my name is Liz Hart, I'm the Managing Director of the Africa Energy Indaba, a project that we conceptualised. The goals of the Indaba are really to look at what can we do as Africans for our continent and develop our own energy supply, because energy supply is a key issue in this continent and we need to try and develop and look at alternative and renewable energy sources that we can use from the most rural township right through to large corporates. Um, the project really was established out of the 2008 rolling blackouts in South Africa. Uh, we realised that we've got to do something. We can't just sit back and hope that government's going to come up with all the solutions. We need to develop a showcase where discussion can take place around what can we do what are the alternatives, what are the renewable technologies out there, uh, and bring them and showcase them to people. And that's part of the reason why we have such a massive global participation at this event. Do you feel South Africa is playing a leading role on the continent? As South, far as South Africa is playing a leading role, but it's quite interesting to see that some other countries are taking a really proactive approach as well. So countries like Nigeria, Egypt in particular with their wind, Algeria, uh, Senegal. So there's a lot of interest coming from across the continent. Uh, we have a lot of representatives from across the continent here um, and people are looking for what is the next best thing. And in terms of uh, international actually, participation yeah, in Africa as far as uh, investment, um, perhaps lifting up some trade re regulations and that sort, do you feel they're supporting that as development in, in, in energy? I think the trade regulation issue is, is a major issue for the continent. Um, at the end of the day we need to try and improve things like visa access, uh, investment uh, structures, but I think slowly I think the African countries are wisening up to that and the regulatory process is definitely improving. The Minister did mention this morning that 90% of South African energy does come from coal, but if we want to reduce our carbon emissions, what real alternatives do we have at, while keeping jobs and having the economy moving forward? I think if we look at the renewable mix, if you take a solar farm, you will need the development of the solar farms um, in areas that are fairly arid, like the Uppington area. So there is great potential for jobs and job creation in areas that currently are pretty uh, vast with very little going there. Um, so I think, you know, if you a solar farm, you need people to clean those solar panels every day. So at the end of the day, there is great job potential and scope for new work for South Africans. Um, so it, it definitely is there. And the wind farms that are being developed in the western part of the country, uh, there will definitely be people that will be required to erect the wind farms. So we're getting there. Um, but I think it's a bit of a slow process.